Hey, this is not a spring chicken. Today we're here with... Okay. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about, of course, our review of Planet of the Apes. Actually, it's our re our <laughs> reasons for not going to see Planet of the Apes, folks. The first reason is I worked on the original Planet of the Apes. Oh, then you really should have gone to see this one. I, I didn't have to go see it because... Uh, okay. I know a cheap-ass Canadian-made television show when I see one. Now, why would you call it cheap-ass Canadian? Because uh, it basically, I can tell when the show is made in Canada versus a show made in the United States. I can show tell when a show is made in England versus a show made in Canada. Well, I can show know when a show is made in Bollywood versus uh, England. It's, yeah, but does any of that really make any difference? Yeah, because the why? quality sucks. Okay, yeah, but see, part of it is if you're going to the movie for the entertainment, do you really care about quality? Uh, if it's a crappy, okay. Uh, the, if the picture looks like it was made for television, yes. Mm -hmm. You don't pay, uh, you, you don't pay like 20, uh, what is it, cost? You don't pay theater When we prices. go and we get discounts, it's running us like $50 to go to the movie every time. Mm -hmm. That's 50 bucks. If you're going to spend $50 for two people, to go see a movie, you don't want to see something that would have made... The King's Speech was a bloody British television show. <laughs> it looked cheap as hell. I mean, it's... It, it the, still did get Oscars it for got it. got Oscars, but they're making movies... Today, they're not... Uh, okay, look, you tell a movie... A, a major motion picture made in the United States is bright and colorful. A movie made out of this country is almost always shot one camera and cheap as hell. Okay, so what makes... Okay, when... You're saying you're looking at it, you can tell it's Canadian. Is it because of the actors that are involved with it? Oh, absolutely. It I, I, I tell two things. One, the uh, how cheap the bloody thing looks, because what happens is is they cut corners on production. Thing. I like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But they, uh, they, they cut corners on production costs, because this is a $90 million movie. The majority of the movie cost goes to the computer graphics, not to the movie. Actually, I'm really kind of surprised about it because a lot of the blockbuster movies are what in about 150 million dollars. Yeah, and it's all going to computer graphics. It's not mm -hmm. going to anything else anymore. But the actor, okay, they got two well-known actors and an army of Canadian actors because that's another reason why it looks. Another Canadian. reason, yeah. I mean, you just look, and and we're talking. I've I've made this before. Like the people that are doing uh, the Conan movie, which is coming up basically are all sci-fi television performers basically mm -hmm. and the people that are in the uh, planet of the rise of the planet of the apes the majority of them you'll see on a saturday night on the sci-fi channel oh maybe that has to do with why you're under impressed by it i'm under impressed by i'm under impressed by the fact that they only had okay i uh, i had um let's see i worked on the planet of the apes i was you know on the, the i was one of the horse guys folks you know basically really crappy makeup but i was a, basically my my father, we had a string of horses, and they basically would, they put a lot of people on horseback that basically could ride horses and didn't say anything in monkey suits. <laughs> what it was is they put fur gloves on us and then had, had the mask on us, not really well fitting. But um, still. But you know now, I mean, it's, it's more modern. They have better equipment. I mean, obviously, well, I know, it makes no, a better picture. But they're also bad-mouthing the first movie. Oh. They're saying our movie is so vastly superior to the first movie. Well, well, wouldn't they always say that to try and get I know, to but the, the fact is, actors were acting in the first in the first shows. Uh -oh. Even on the show, I think with Ron Harper on television, uh, and actually with Ron Harper and Dan Dios and and Buddy McDowell was also in that one too, for twentieth. The act, there were actors acting. Right now, what it is, they got a whole bunch of people in front of a screen. Basically doing, you're basically they're just walking, walking through motion. You know, once they've done this, that what the actors understand, you don't need these actors ever again. Wait a minute, they have actors in this movie, though. They have, they got that. No, they said um, uh, the way I've heard it scored, a, apes one, humans nothing. They said the humans are mm. so dull that you pray for the uh, pray for the apes to win. Ouch! Yes, no wonder is. why it's the planet of the apes. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's rise of the planet of the apes. I mean, it's so ridiculous. I mean, in the uh, in the original movies, what happened was this came about as a result of the apes were bred to serve man, which means they had tens of thousands, maybe millions of apes because they were doing service for men. Mm -hmm. This time, they're doing it over a short span of time. So, which, if you look at the what the reproduction cycle of an ape, yeah, a it's typical it's, ape, I it's mean, longer. So. It's not mm. like that of a I know the big blue dog. out there. Oh, you do? Yeah, I've sat there and watched. That's an Australian yacht out there. I've seen that oh. one. 
So isn't that something? Mm. But uh, you know, but uh, it's just it, it it was an impossibility for the apes to get that much power in a short time. That's the part that didn't make sense. To well, you. it's just like I said. It's just like they they uh, they put money into the effects and no money into anything else. They said the acting is wooden. Like I said, the only the That's only kind of disappointing. They said it all has to do with the apes. I mean, they're they're trying to where, build. Where are they doing it in front of the green screen? Is that why they think it's wooden? No, no, the actors are doing their stuff, and out, I know for real. But the people, the apes, are basically almost all green screen. Okay. It's just like they're putting them into the picture. The the thing is, they they have forgotten that it's about acting. You know, actors. If an actor isn't real, actor is basically they don't have lines. So you, what do you need people doing things if you don't have lines? Nothing. You have no well, you reason know, for it. I think that's a part of the challenge. Is like animate. We like animation, and they've been doing a lot of voiceovers for actors and actresses to do that. Which, actually, I think a lot of them do like to do the voiceovers. Yeah. But the the, the but hard part is is they have uh, actors playing the roles of the apes. Oh, they do? There's no need of it. Yeah, well, it's, you still want jobs for the actors. <laughs> but there is no... What, what, what it different. works is, is that the same thing... Okay, I'll guarantee people... When I was doing animation in Hollywood when I was younger, that what we would do is we would do we would do our work, and then they'd file that work, and then they would go... If they're going to make another production, they would go back, and then they'd take the work that we had done, and they'd use it to cut cost on things. Which is what they can still do with the actors. They do it. They, when the actor has done the movement, they no longer need the actor the next time. It's a, well, people, if they notice that we do a lot of animation, even though you might see it, I s save everything that we do, and then I'll use bits and pieces of the previous animation with different clothes and a different head. And it, you know, has changed the skin coloring, changed the head, changed the clothes. But, you know, somewhere down the line a year ago, I used this animation previous. I've just changed it, and that's all they'll do is you change the, uh, you can elongate an ape, you can give him a different face a little bit, you can do this, that, but there's going to be a point, I think like uh, Steven Spielberg did AI, and AI was to show oh. what's going to happen to the future of the entertainment business, so. That would be very sad. But as far as the movie, I mean, it's, um, I mean, it, they said it's going to make money, it's going to be the top number one movie because there isn't anything else out there. That's true. So um, it'll have it'll have long legs. But I wouldn't, you know, when you've worked, okay, when you've worked with the giants in the industry, when you worked with a uh, uh, Roddy McDowell, with um, you know, with uh, Charlton Heston, you work with, you know, some of the great Shakespearean actors doing, you know, men makeup, and then you're working with a computer generated thing. It's not not, it's the, not same, the same. Not the same. These are actors. The difference is okay. There's, there's a huge difference between the movies from... Okay, say the effects has gotten better over the years, but the effects got better with the actors in it. Mm -hmm. You're now taking the actors out of the equation. And, because the uh, effects are so good. It's just, uh, we, can, you know, we can talk about the fact, too, that... We, what was it the guy when we ran or at the Taco Bell having... Um, were eating with... Uh, sitting next to a guy with the American Society of Cinematographers, and we're talking about the Oscars, and he's questioning us about... Avatar, which he'd seen and had to vote on. Mm -hmm. He wanted to know, is this thing, uh, is that a cartoon or is it a movie? Mm -hmm. And that's how it works. So it, um, uh, it's, um, when you take the actors out of a motion picture, you no longer have a, what you would call a motion picture. I mean, I don't, I, you know, it, if the, if, the movie would have had actors in it, and maybe it had been something more than a pilot film for a television series, which is god awful what it really is. Are you serious? Is that what they're doing? It's with a it? pilot film for a television series. It's a ninety million dollar pilot film for a TV well, series. Well, that's an expensive pilot, then. Okay. Uh, no, but it's they figured it's expensive for a blockbuster and expensive for a pilot. <laughs> yeah, but they figure what's going to happen is that that it will make its money back. Uh, in the theatric in a theatrical run and the uh, ancillary and, items. and ancillary items, so they uh, they they want to reboot the franchise. There's no way they're going to reboot the franchise like this because it is not going to be that big a movie. Well, I think they need a little bit more excitement about the movie. Well, you need. I mean, the, I mean actually, here, here's part of it is we didn't even want to spend the money to go see it. That's right. We did not want to spend the the fifty dollars to go see the movie.
we had a choice of actually we had a choice of virtually no cost for another our destination final destination and the planets the planets was the best choice out of all the movies we could have went to and uh, you know like I said remakes that this is not a, they told us they specifically told me this is not a remake and it's it's a prequel. We're going to tell you what happened. Well, they already told you what happened, which means it's a remake. <laughs> that whoever did it didn't realize they did tell you. Hey, we're going to try. Uh, they had Don Murray, and they had oh. Ricardo Montalban, and you know they sort of were in this version. I somehow have this feeling that there's people that were involved in the creation of this that never saw the earlier version. I never. But they're they're. I'm listening last night, and they're talking to on television about the fact that um, that this is so much better than the Planet of the Apes movies, and you know, and then they're oh, they're talking about the Tim Burton movie, which was a disaster. Tim Burton did a Planet of the Apes. Yeah, but he actually put people in the thing. Oh. Well, they're all talking about okay. the. Okay, so. Well, but let's, the, let's they just said say it was a far better. You know, technically, it was a better movie than this one because Burton is really a particular on that stuff. But okay. he put actors in the roles. I mean, Tim Roth was in it. Oh, um, wow. You know, Mark, Marky Mark was in it, and um, it had a whole bunch of well-known people were in the roles. Well, you but, know, part of it is, okay, so it's a bad remake, but then, like, what about, like, if it, if it was to stand alone? Could it yeah. stand alone? I mean... No, no, it's a standalone it? movie that's a pilot film. It's just like they're shooting a battle battleship right now. It's actually a pilot film for a television <laughs> series. We know that because it's got an awful lot of movies from... A lot of people from TV shows. Well, you know, part of it is, okay, if you didn't know anything about any of the other Planet of Apes movies, and it was just this movie by itself, actually, well, no, the, the it, acting would still be wooden. The acting would be wooden. They all agree the acting is wooden. The problem is, if the other movies had not existed, it wouldn't be, called, it wouldn't be a, a, a sequel. I mean, sequels only work if they're new material. So, uh, you know, if this was new material, it would be a reason to go see it. Okay, so here's part of it is, you, since you worked on the first Planet of the Apes... I was a glorified horse wrangler. Okay. Um, is there any way you would want to go see this one? <laughs> if they gave me a ticket. We have been given tickets from 20th to go see things, you know. But uh, generally what happens is, though, is that um, the it, it's just, uh, it, it's a matter of... Where are you gonna? Where are you gonna like put your gonna fifty? Put your money. You're gonna put your money. You're gonna put fifty dollars of money into go seeing a, you know, um, to see a, 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 a movie. They said it's got wooden acting. Who the apes don't say anything at the end of the movie. The okay. Caesar speaks. So is there anybody, any type of group that would want to go see this, such as? Um, well, there's nothing know, else to see, and you there's like nothing action. else to see. That's the problem. It's enough. You it like is, apes, and you're okay, studying Okay, no, it, it is reviewing well. The apes are reviewing magnificently. <laughs> they said it's all about the apes, but the basic problem is, is that um, it's 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 a made-for-television movie. I can tell a made-for-TV movie when I see it. I've seen the. Well, I, I have access to the previews, folks. So part of it is, if you want to go spend the money, go catch it on a matinee. Yeah. You know, go to the cheap time. So, but don't, you know. I mean, it. it they said there will be because the audience is fragged. That what happened is, the last month of this year, they have decided that they're not kind of, they're not going to bring out any movies that anybody wants to go pay to see. I know. They've just abandoned so, the last month. You know, part of it is, it, it, like we said, it could have long legs because there's nothing else to see, and that yeah. does happen. Yeah. Then I figure that what happens too is that the. Uh, they basically cooked the books too many times with all these million, billion dollar movies this summer, and they couldn't cook the books anymore, so, so you need to start losing money for a while. <laughs> yeah, I'm They're, they're going to say people were busy getting ready for back to school and they missed the theater. I'm going to tell it's people. It's really kind of disappointing that there's not more movies you actually No, it just should them. be hitting them up I with mean, the stuff right now. Movies that should be out now have been delayed. Like I wish like that Hugh Jackman movie. Yeah, I should have been out in August, but they've decided to, to bury it in August. So, but uh, you know, but basically, this is more or less our reasons for not going to see Planet of the Apes. It doesn't mean you shouldn't go see it. I mean, if you've never seen any of the other movies, then you probably should go you, see you it. You probably find it entertaining. Yeah, but if you have, then I wouldn't. So, if you have, you might be disappointed. Yeah. But if you love to compare it, maybe. 
Or if you just want to occupy an afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess until next time, this is all camp. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. For more information, you can go to www.montybubbles.net on the net. And wherever you're watching, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast on 3D. And thank you once again for over 40 million links on the internet. <laughs>